Well, hello and welcome back, just in case. Just checking out this area. <laughs> You never know. It's a pretty big area, maybe. There's something there. Thank you, game. <laughs> Just wanna see what's over there. Well then, I get it, game. Almost, oh. Hmm. These starting areas are always so fraught full of amazing secrets. Give me that juice. Yeah, it's gonna break. I know. Ah. Don't let any Geo get away. Told you. Ooh, ah. And this leads me back. Oh, I guess it is going to be a proper episode after all. Hello, guys. We're fighting the brooding Moloch. All right. Barely didn't make it over there. That's gonna hurt. Not enough time. But we can jump on the walls. That's where you don't wanna stand. He doesn't seem that bad. I mean, we did just die, but it's not that bad, I think. So this is where I got to it. Yeah, it's actually really close. Another optional boss, all right. But I don't think I went there from this direction. In fact, <clears throat> this was not at all how I went, how I got there. Oops. Have we ever... Have we ever gone up here? I mean, ever, ever since we got uh, Dash and... Yeah, we did. We have. I'm second guessing all those... Uh, all those wrinkles and... Things in the area. Where's the closest bench to that boss? I guess it's still... I guess it's the... Um, the one at the hot springs? Have we been up here? No! Okay. Doing even more... Um, oh, wow. <laughs> Cleaning up. It's not that hard. You should be able to stand here, yep. Interesting. And there's like a soul or mass fragment here. Very nice, very nice. Only one left to the next upgrade. Sweet. Glad I got here. So we want to go to the grotto. Grotto bench. Looks good to me. No visitors here this time. I wonder how many I've actually uh, just missed by not listening or 
Like they have to have had some sort of audio clue about uh that's it's not connected there. I have to go up. Some sort of audio cue that tells me Wait a second. No, I'm completely wrong. That tells me there's somebody there without actually having to check every time. Hmm. That's not the way. How did I get there? <laughs> Up here. The hell? I guess it's, oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. I remember now. So maybe, maybe it's faster going, fr coming from the bench in Dirtmouth. Dirtmouth. Well, I took my time and look at every nook and cranny and I couldn't find any sort of shortcut to this guy so we just have to grin and bear it it's not like he's I don't think he's that strong anyway just have to wait, make sure I don't take too much damage early on I was gonna say but then that happened yeah can't stand too close to him. I can't. That's not. It's not gonna cut it. It's just not gonna do it. And one more time. I'm not sure if there's any sort of place I could stand. When the wide barrage starts happening. Just trying to get as much damage in there as possible. Anticipating attacks. That worked out really well. Don't squander it. Shit. Damn it. Mm. Keeps leaping. Gotta get out there. That's pretty good though. That wasn't so bad. Okay. I think my problem last time was that I wasn't using the walls enough. Ooh. I think that's like a parry or something. I don't know if that's any good or uh, just looking at him. Add his shots to it way too much and not as. Uh, I was trying to get to the wall, but. <clears throat> Fucking hell. Should remember how many times he actually leaps. That's one, two, one. To Does he do it more? Okay, I didn't think I wasn't. I was gonna. I was gonna escape there. I can keep jumping, even when the barrage is in the air. That's good to know. Damn it. Just can't be jumping when uh, 
when he's mid jump. Yeah, I had to try. Interesting, this guy's harder than I thought. All right, so um, sorry to put a little bit of a damper on this. Uh, yet again, another episode where we try to beat that same boss over and over again. Three in a row, I think, by now. But um, I wanted to put it on hold for the time being because I was thinking my main problem with that boss fight was that I wasn't able to focus quickly enough. So in order to do that, I would have uh, been enabling the long nail instead of the mark of pride which is probably still good enough and uh, steady body would have been unequipped but in order for that to work basically i was one charm not short uh so i went to the charm seller to get another notch upgrade which you know we have 18 charms now so that would have been fine unfortunately the notch upgrade was a little bit more expensive than i thought at 900 geos instead of what I thought was 190 but whatever by the way uh, one last charm that I found that gave us an 18 was this this thorns of agony charm in green pass somewhere it's just beyond uh, a little bit of a bump jumping puzzle so then I was like well I do have all that geo in the bank except when I came here I found myself quite bamboozled like, yeah, I did see it coming, too. But at the same time, come on. I'm out 3,100 geo now. You take it, financial system. <laughs> oh, hilarious. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. I guess I must deserve it. Fucking bankers, man. <laughs> what the hell? We still don't have Queen Station on the map because I'm assuming we didn't get Fog Canyon yet. We gotta track down that thief. That, you know, charming old lady. Hey. Asshole. <laughs> You're gonna get what's coming to you, lady. All right. Maybe 3,000 was, was the threshold, but she was like, well, see ya. But I want to track her down, seriously. Uh, I wanted to go to Fog Canyon anyway at some point, so might as well do it now. It's going to be uh, annoying for those that wanted resolution on that boss fight, but, but I think, you know, it's a... Uh, ouch. It's probably an optional boss anyway. And... Uh, so, you know, just don't, don't be too perturbed, please. And uh, if we find her before we, or the other way around, if we uh, get to um, 900 Geo, which is how much the uh, notch is going to cost us. If we get to that before um, we find her, then... By all means, I'm going to try it again with quick fo focus this time. Yeah, I sh should really find a better way of dealing with these big guys. Well, one way would be to not kill them at all. Uh, music changed all of a sudden, I believe. And the problem that we had the first time we went through here, it's like a distant memory at this point that we just couldn't find, oh God, couldn't find our map maker. Oh God, I want to kill the other one. That was a little bit annoying. So there's nothing over there, is there? No. Also, I don't know about you, but fighting the same boss over and over, it's not that much fun anyway. 
Unless, you know, of course, you delight in the misfortune of others. Oh, yeah, I do remember. We did find him. But that was that uh, black stuff in front of it that we couldn't pass through. What the hell? Hmm. I mean, we gotta get and find a way around him, I guess? Goddamn cornfer. It's also funny that he always seems to stay in that one spot where... On that screen pass again. Where we, uh... End up missing him. Or he through some sheer coincidence, always seems to end up there again. So I guess we gotta go here, through this annoying ass ordeal. Although, could be worse, I guess. All right, I thought that was a, legit thought that was a platform. Or could be a platform at least. Careful. What now? Green path like enemies. Let's see what the hunter has to say. Nope. Moss fly. Yeah, that's about it. Moss plant, I haven't seen one. Lots of moss flies. Oh, wait. Okay, I thought I heard him uh, stand there or something. Okay, shortcut over here. Okay. There must be a way for me to turn that off then. There's a shortcut right over there, so no that means. Huh. Don't tell me bank lady. Has our secret hideout in here. Crap. Oh. Overgrown mound. We'll find our snail shaman again? I haven't fought these guys in a while. Well, last time we... had uh, got a job from him he gave us vengeful spirit and honestly that's maybe the best upgrade we've had so far most useful you know what's this mosquito battle right now Surely you jest. Whoops. Well, we haven't had that one, something like this for a while. Although I'm not really... Showing my best uh, efforts here. Okay. That was weird. Well, that's that. I don't want to miss anything though. Let's see. Can't stand up there, but there's no real reason to do so. Guess it helps you in the fight. All right, <laughs> not gonna jump there yet.
Although now's a good chance to do so. Oh, it's the shortcut, of course. Of course. What the hell? Shaman! You're just gonna give me that? I guess. Maybe that's gonna let us pass through? Howling Wraiths. Tap E while holding up to unleash the Wraiths. Spells will de deplete so. Whoa. That looks amazing. I would have liked to have that against the Fluke Marm fight, that's for sure. Howling Wraiths. I wonder what the shaman is doing. Like, maybe we should go back to him and talk to him or something? It's just odd that they would put it in here. Like, way outside of, uh, outside of your path. Is that gonna do anything? No. Hmm. I'm a little bit uh Yeah, we, we haven't been here yet, have we? Or is this no, that's just the way back. But maybe up here? <laughs> I always want to check that. Yeah, we definitely haven't been here yet. We're getting, I forgot what it's called. Soul Hearts, Hollowness Seal, nice. And uh, some nobles here, uh, more or less uh, keeping guard over nothing. Okay. Uh, I think it's called Lifeblood. You don't have a map, dude. Hmm. I don't really know what to do here. It's also weird to think that the guy told me it's sort of a taboo. Maybe having... no. Having Lifeblood doesn't make a difference. I was at the other uh, entrance before, and that didn't do anything. I don't know. I don't know. I want to get my money back, but it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Oh. <laughs> Far Canyon does not want to be explored. Such a weird barrier too, like I've never really seen anything like it. So we've gone through here. Was there another path to the left maybe? No, it's just the one up top. I'm at a loss here. I don't know. I might have to uh, consult the wiki on that one. Maybe I'm just not supposed to be here yet. Well, here we are again. I just couldn't let you hanging like this, you know? <laughs> With no resolution to this boss fight. I did grind for the 900, by the way, at the end, and uh, bought the quick focus, as you can see. I'm trying to find, because there is a, maybe not, it's not always there, but there is a way to dodge in between the wide barrage even though I'm getting hurt from easier attacks right now. See? Ah. If that's what you're looking for, pretty much. See? Yeah, okay. Maybe it's always closest to the pedestal. Or not.
Damn it. That's it. We did it. Whew. What a nasty bugger and uh, I mean that makes it all worth it, doesn't it? Bang. Another mask upgrade. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's look at our um, journal, just to see who it actually was we killed there. Oh, we also got a an entry for the life seed now, which apparently is a living thing. Small scuttling seed filled with lifeblood, which can be extracted and consumed for its healthful, healthful properties. Weird way of phrasing that. Um, I guess you're further down. I would expect the boss to be in the crossroads section, but I guess maybe it's further up. What the hell? <laughs> Am I taking crazy pills yet again? Did it just give me the Entry for the lifeblood? I don't understand. There he is. All the optional bosses must be at the bottom then. Brooding Molech, ferocious but extremely social creature, becomes aggressive if not able to mingle with its own kind. Interesting. I hear this beast crying out sometimes as I prowl the caverns, although I've never actually laid eyes on it. Who or what it, is it calling for? As far as I can tell, its voice is never answered. How does the hunter know all this? Up until now, I was expecting that he had killed one of them before. But maybe there's more to it. Okay, now we can actually go out again. Well, that's, uh, that's good enough for the episode, I think. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. See you guys next time.